I can't even tell who I'm shooting. I just see something moving in the hallway and I'm like, kill it. Kill it, dead. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Rainbow Six Siege. Oh yes, some lovely, lovely gunplay gameplay. That's the thing I came up with. You like it? Me either. <laughs> I thought it was clever. Sounded better in my head. Anyways, uh, we're on the theme park today, which I think is a, a newer map for the channel. I don't think I've played here before. But uh, it is pretty wide open, so I'm going to go for the MPX instead of the uh, semi-auto shotgun. Although the semi-auto is definitely one of my favorite weapons in the game. I mean, I, I just like shotguns in general, but... You need to be right on top of your opponent, so unless it's a really, really confined space, you're probably going to have some trouble uh, getting kills with it. There's a few maps that it's uh, pretty good for. Cafe, Dostoevsky, and House, and uh, Plane all come to mind. But yeah, some machine guns also have their uses there, so... This is uh, another secure area, so we have these long, well, relatively long... Too long for a shotgun to, to to pick somebody off from this far away, so I'm glad that I picked the MPX. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a couple cameras down just to uh, keep eyes, because that's important. Gotta keep your eyes out. And uh, I usually like to do one on each side of the objective and then throw one out the window or something like that. So here, I'll, I'll throw it out this window. Hopefully that's going to go okay. I don't want to throw it into too weird a position. Obviously it's pretty easy to see, um, but only if people are looking for it. And I don't think that I got spotted, so maybe we'll be okay. If people are getting scanned repeatedly and they look on the ground and there's like a little blue ring, of course they're going to spot it. But also people are usually looking up higher for cameras instead of uh, down on the ground, so... It's a pretty effective strategy, especially if you hide your cameras in the building like that. Find a really good spot to put it on the ground, like next to some trash maybe, and uh, your camera's going to stay up through the whole match. And uh, it also depends if people are scanning on it, which I don't really like people to do, but uh, it seems to be kind of an inevitability, because people get points. If you scan somebody and then they die moments later, you get like that 50 points for a scan assist. Which, uh, is just fine, I guess. There's a one for one exchange. Vigil's out there being a fucking hero. I see somebody over there. So, uh, I fired. It gave away my position, so I'm gonna move just a little bit. And, uh, I don't think anybody's. Ooh, buddy. Fuck me. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think anybody's coming through that, uh, that first door, but yeah. She was. She's taken that slow peek. And, uh, yeah. Really, really quick with the headshots. As usual. I mean, you die in two or three bullets on Rainbow Six Siege anyways. So, I will scan this Twitch. And there's a little kill assist for me. It's too bad you don't get kill assist and scan assist. That would be like the sweetest. The sweetest ever. And uh, there's IQ kind of marked out for people to, to have a look for. I'm not seeing Ash or uh, whoever their last member is. So they're doing a good job sneaking about. And it looks like uh, Smoke is holding it down over there on the other side. Maybe they do have somebody over there, but my camera is not able to spot them. Hmm. They seem to have backed off for just a moment. I mean, they do have a minute and 40 seconds left, so... Yeah, take your time. Take your time, bros. That's just fine. I'm gonna try some of these, uh, pleb cameras. See if I can spot somebody. They really are just so shitty. The, uh... The, the view, uh, FOV, field of view, is really, really thin on them. And they don't spin as fast. Like, the black eye cameras get, uh, 360... 360 angle, and... The, the camera's really, really wide. So, I like them a lot. Obviously, superior to the, uh, the, the default cameras, I guess I should call them. So, it looks like, uh, Smoke is trying to peek somebody out over here. I don't know if he saw somebody or not. I was missing that part of the story. 
I definitely didn't see anybody in that hall. But if there are some doubts of, about somebody coming down that hall, you should, One like, seal it off. Remaining. Oh my god. One friendly remaining. Uh, yeah. Smoke got took down. Oh man, that's not good at all. So they got, uh, one person on each side, I'm thinking. That's probably not good. <laughs> but if anybody can do it, Jaeger can do it. I believe in this little boy. And yeah, he's blocking off some grenades, which is pretty good. I think that's gonna work out nice. 15 seconds left. He's trying to get like a tight angle on this shield. They've ceased attempting 15 to seconds. The can he do it? Oh, I see him. I see him, you see him. Everybody left. sees him. Get him. Oh, Capitao. Trying to burn him up. Oh boy. Done. It's really hard to deal with two angles of fire. Um, yeah. Capitao was in there and just uh, Ash coming up the other way. Scooping up that kill. Tell you what. I probably would have died in that situation. Tell you that right now. I can deal with uh, the team if they're coming one at a time. One and one and one. But if you uh, don't kill them quick enough, then they stack up, and that's never a good thing. So let's try out Jackal. Um, also unlocked relatively recently. I haven't put in a lot of time with him just because I find his gadgets a little bit weird to use. It's like the ultimate anti-roaming device. If you can find a footprint, you can scan the footprint, and then you can track track your enemy down. Um, but yeah, I rarely, if ever, find footprints. I, I assume it's just because I don't know where to look, um, because there are definitely people that are roaming around, but I simply uh, don't have the experience quite yet. And if you don't have the experience for an operator, it's a, a painful thing to play them and put in the time and figure them out. But it's, uh, you know, not necessarily required, but beneficial. Then you're more flexible, you see. You can play with any operator, but you want to be as flexible as possible. There's a camera up here, so I'll try and use that to mark where my drone is, or remember where it is. Or maybe I should just kind of sacrifice it and go in there and try and find the biohazard container. But, um, we've got a pretty good idea of where it is. It seems like it's in the same location as last time. The only question is, uh, confirm or deny? Confirm or deny? I think confirm. It's probably a good idea. So let's have a little sneaky peek. Oh, it's not in the same location as last time. So good thing I didn't wander in and go through here. Hmm. I guess I'll just, uh, bring my drone back a little bit closer. Oh, here it is. For surezies. So they've got a mute and a smoke. Anybody else? Yep, I scan a pulse. Wow, Twitch is already in there uh, doing shit. Good on you, boy! I tell you what, that boy gung ho. So, uh, anybody else in here? Can I have a little sneak? Sneaky peek? I don't know. Maybe my drone's hidden in the barbed wire. Maybe not. But yeah, there's not gonna be a whole lot of, uh, counter roaming today. Although maybe it's a good idea. Uh, the objective's basically right here. I do suspect that somebody might come and flank, so part of me says go check that other uh, bit of the stairs and see if somebody's gone up and around or something like that. And then the other side of me says just, just fucking secure the container. That's the smart thing to do. Okay, so they definitely got an echo. There's some uh, concussion charges from Yokai. I'm trying to get rid of these fucking bandit traps. And it seems like we're doing okay. We are down one one dude. And actually our thermite's looking pretty fucked up too. But uh Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. They're hiding out pretty well in there. I'm scared to push in. Oh, ain't that always how it go. One of our guys picked off another of theirs, so that's pretty, pretty sweet. And that fucking drone. If I just look up, I could probably shoot it. Ooh! Yeah! Got him, coach! I'm trying to, trying to be all sneaky. Down the hall, in the bathroom. 
uh, playing with your wiener. And I picked up pulse too, so we're doing pretty good. I think we got this in the bag. In the baggy wag. Well, there's Echo. Yeah. Echo got me, but I lured him out in order for the, uh, the, the teammates to get him, so. That's what's most importantly. Ba -ba 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 bam Done. Done and done. And I'm top of the top of the scoreboard, so. Sweet! With a character I don't even play. I got two kills. Hell yeah. So we'll go back to Valkyrie now. Definitely one of my favorite defensive operators. I mean, if I gotta choose, if I really gotta choose, uh offensive is Buck and defensive is Valkyrie. But, uh, luckily I don't have to choose, so I shift between basically all of the players that I have, because I want to be good with all of them. Maybe we don't need a Valkyrie on some maps, maybe we need a Bandit, and if I suck with Bandit, then, um, yeah, then it's gonna suck. Secure That's pretty room. simple, isn't it? Need to protect the biohazard container. So this is a, a tiny little room. We could turn it into a, a death pit. It's probably not gonna be what I want to do. Um... Set one camera on that side. I guess the other camera can go out like near the trains or some shit like that. It's hard to know where to place it out here though. As uh, they've got the cover from the trains, so. Yeah, they can hide pretty easy from the camera. If we're using callouts, then it's a little easier, but uh, especially while recording, I don't want the audio to get too, too muddled and things like that. And as usual, I'm going to pitch this last camera out the door. Make sure I don't get it in the, uh, the bed of that truck. I don't know if that's going to be too helpful a location, but it's definitely going to uh, keep an eye on this this window here. This little windy. And it's still got that bathroom window, too. Maybe I should have thrown out the bathroom window. Then I would have a view of the, uh, the side where they're probably actually going to come from. Maybe. Who knows? Until you uh, open up the cameras and get a bead on them, it's basically impossible. Impossible to tell. Unless you're super experienced, then you go, Oh, I know all the spawn locations, which I don't. I know the maps relatively well now, but uh, spawn locations kind of throw me for a loop. At least at the moment. Maybe eventually I'll be like, Hey, I'm a pro. Check me out. I'm a pro. But uh, that's probably a long time coming. A long time off. And, uh, it doesn't seem like anybody's gonna come to that window. I'm kind of tempted to just, uh, keep playing around on the cameras, but I do want to get some kills. I want to keep my top position. So, uh, we'll just hold this angle. That seems like a pretty sweet angle, doesn't it? Right down the hallway and out the door. Oh! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Got him, coach! Don't even worry about it, coach! So, uh, that was a one-for-one, one, which is kind of unfortunate. If my balls were a little bit bigger, I would run out there and try and pick off the fuse who's clustering the window. But he knows that I know that he's out there, so they're probably all looking for me at the moment. I did pick somebody off from this way, and I'm not sure whether their team is communicating or not. I wouldn't think so, but, um, yeah. People generally don't communicate at all in casual. It's like a whole different... A whole different world, you know what I mean? A whole new world. Still lots of gunfights and tactical awesomeness, but uh, less teamwork. A little bit less teamwork. So maybe I should be peeking this corner. Oh, where'd he go? Dang. Oh, wow. I don't even know what was happening there. Was that Ash or IQ? I can't even tell who I'm shooting. I just see something moving in the hallway and I'm like, kill it. Kill it, Dad! Kill it, Dad! Oh yeah, it was Ash. And down! And more kills! For Dayton Duke! Oh. And here comes more fusing. Damn. It is hard to keep up this, uh, this gap. They are determined. All they've got less left is a fuse and an IQ. Um, the fuse should have one more cluster charge left. There he is in the fucking hallway. I missed him. He knows I'm here. C4, How about C4? Bang! 
Nope. <laughs> Didn't do anything except destroy the fucking barbed wire. Oh, mistakes were made! Mistakes were made! But this is a really sweet angle. I'm enjoying that a lot. They're kind of stuck there, and uh, yeah. Picked off by IQ. God damn. Uh, for securing the container. Right in the corner! How could this happen to me? Stop I made my mistakes. Biohazard container. Well, op four, last op standing. it seems like op our dudes are uh, biohazard container. trying to stop this this madness. Oh, wow. IQ. IQ means business. Oh! But Doc got her. Good job. Damn. I'm sure she... Since they came through the same door, I'm like, oh, she's just going to pick them both off. But she didn't. She didn't! It went a whole different way from how I expected it to go! Wow! Look at that! Amazing! Um... Let's play Glass. I haven't played Glass in a long time. Probably since his scope got buffed, um... But that's mostly because I'm not a sniper. I'm definitely not a sniper. I did get a vigil kill in uh, one of my videos with like his super sniper shotgun. But um, I think that was more luck than anything else. And the dude wasn't that far away. You know, Glaz is like aiming at shit from across the map. So his banana vision scope does make it a little bit easier. You know, you can set up a smoke grenade and kind of uh, be immune to return fire for at least a little while. It's helpful, but, um, yeah, I don't have such high hopes, mostly because uh, I'm in the lead. I don't hesitate to, to pick Glass and just kind of see how it goes. Practice up on some of the dudes that I don't know as well. Actually, I did uh, Jackal as well in this, in this match, so maybe I'm just uh, being a goofball today. I don't really know. I don't really know. I just play who I feel. You know what I mean? Somebody already picked Fuse, and uh, Fuse needs a friend. So we got an Echo and a Bandit that I scanned. Location of My drone is definitely going to get picked off right there. That's okay. I got another one. I got a drone. I got a drone. I got a drone. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> I really like uh, the Russian scopes. I haven't probably talked about that before. But yeah, they've got really sick uh, scopes and whatnot. Most people just have a little red dot or whatever. The Russians got like that, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? Scorpion sight? Somebody more versed with guns will probably tell me. I know I know my way around a gun, but sights are uh, a different thing. Those aren't guns. That's just a treaty. A treaty that goes on a gun. So let me scope this out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I'm writing that down. And then washing my hands. Um... I can't recall what side they're on. That's probably the most, uh, terrible thing. Oh my god, I got picked up by Echo so early. Did not have any time to do anything. I should have probably backed out when the uh, Echo drone showed up and started doing his little bullshit. But... It be what it be. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes. Oh, and there's a drone gone. Mm, so sad when that happens. Well, we still got most of our team up. Unfortunately, I did drop early, so uh, we've got five. We've got four against their five, but it's gonna be just fine. We we have uh, room for error, so if this match goes terrible we might still uh, be able to bring it back around in the next match. I hope. <laughs> I really just want to win! That's what it's all about, you just want to win! Some more of that Echo Drone bullshit. Oh, it's so foul. I don't know what the fucking Thermite is shooting at. We got a little bit of return fire. That Lemon Berry Aid fellow is uh, quite good. Quite good. He picked it up. He picked up uh, an enemy and helped even the score just a little bit. So somebody got flashed in there. They probably did what I do and just dropped to the floor. Um, if you're by a window or something like that, you're not going to be able to, to blast your way through that for a fight. That is concrete. 
which really you should be able to blast your way through. But it's for game balancing uh, tactics or whatever. Game balancing issues, something like that. You don't want to just be able to blast your way, your way in any old which way. Oh boy, that was uh, that was tragic. Lost Twitch real quick. So now we got three against their four. This is a really slow moving match. We've got uh, 45 seconds left, and people are going down one by one. I don't think it's gonna go well. Ash got a flash out, but uh, way too late. And our our fuse has basically no health left, so I'm gonna go ahead and call this match three versus one. If he pulls it off, he'll be a fucking madman in my eyes. He'll be immortalized forever. Well, all friendly not today. That's all right. That went about as I expected it to. You know, you can't you can't expect miracles, really. I don't. I mean. The team basically always does, you know what I mean? They're like, oh, why didn't you do this differently? It's like, well, you were dead, fucker. <laughs> you don't get to say anything to me. So this is match point. Um, I don't want to go with a character that I screw around with, so... Hibana, you're the one. We're sending you in. Final play of the game. And hopefully she's like, I got it, coach! But you never know. You never know until you get in there. Sometimes you think, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play glass," and then you just get fucking sniped in the back. Really, I should have uh, stayed back. You know, that's what glass is for. He's a fucking sniper, but I'm, I'm used to playing the guys that are like first one in. Always the first one in. My goodness, why do I, why do I play this way? But yeah, I really like that. Uh, different operators are good for different mindsets. It's really always been a. Uh, one of the more interesting things about Rainbow Six to me. Oh, oh. Who's that? Cap can. Gotta watch out for that cap can. Oh boy. Ten seconds to insertion. I'm scrambling. Scrambling like a rat. Trying to get up the box. In five seconds. Please, I don't want to waste. Oh god. Alright. It's game time. Let's do the thing. Um. Yeah. There's not really any walls that I think would be great to breach, necessarily. But, uh, Hibon is just a good operator overall. She's got some really nice weapons. I like the shotgun, uh, because paired with her SMG sidearm, it's a pretty powerful combo. Most people will tell you to go with her, her rifle, but, um, yeah, I'm not partial to it. Just because the magazine is so fucking low for it. I think it's got like 21 bullets or something like that, which it goes real quick. You gotta reload a whole lot. Even her sidearm has more bullets, so um, or maybe the same amount of bullets. I'm not quite sure. Either way, I'm going to uh, Claymore. I guess this guy's already climbing in. I was gonna bust down that door, but okay. I think it went fine. And then, uh,. Kind of trying to check out this little hey, hole that we have made. Oh, the hole is bigger now. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> and uh, we'll pick this off. Oh my god, fucking criminy. <clears throat> Did pretty well during the first couple rounds, but um, the last two rounds I just got picked off super early. Luckily, Pulse got fused, so that kind of evens things out. But um, yeah. I fucked it up pretty big. If my team loses, we'll know the reason why. We will know the reason why. So, uh, we've got two against their four. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one basically done. Luckily, uh, Montaigne is fucking melee madness right here. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good! So, Ash and Montaigne, can you, uh, can you bring it around? Maybe. You never quite know. Holy shit! I didn't even see a dude and he just like picked him off. Oh wow. This dude is. he's in it to win it. Don't get blanked. Oh my god! <gasps> Lemon Barriade! You're the one! Dodges the C4 with a plum. Boom! Holy shit! 
friendly mission success. I never see some shit like that, man. Good God. What a great match. Ah, uh, anyways, friends, this has been Rainbow Six Siege. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Second place, that's okay. I'll give it up for, uh, for Montaigne's fucking melee madness. <laughs> Keeping me humble. Anyways, uh, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always appreciated. We've got links in the description if you should like uh, any of those. We got a Twitter, we got a Discord, we got a, a Patreon if that's something you're interested in. I would appreciate you supporting me on any of those if you're able to. Anyways, friends, I shall see you in the next time. Thank you so much for watching, and until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.